Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the show on this November the 1st, uh, Monday, November the 1st, 2021. Thank you for tuning in. Glad to have you guys here. Now, you know, I'm going to tell you, uh, the market has been melting up. Uh, if we take a look, uh, it says markets melt up as economy growth weakens. So we got a situation right now where the markets are, are melting up and the economy is starting to turn down a little bit. It's just beginning really to turn down some. We, uh, I'm looking at the Bloomberg in, index here, and uh, I'm seeing a slight downturn in the economy. We could be looking at some sort of a little bit of a market correction in the very near future, short term, but I, I see it as being more or less a correction. We're going to get right in there right now. Listen, toward the end of the show, I'm going to post a few pictures of, of me out in Halloween, you know, and uh, right at the end of the show, you guys can watch uh, Anyway, let's get in there and let's take a look. Let's open up the charts right here. Take a look at what's going on. Uh, we're taking a look at the silver price today. Guess what? Silver's going up right now. It's up 18 cents this morning. It's at 24.07 today so far. and uh, So that's looking good. Uh, let's take a look at gold here. And we're seeing gold is up too. It's up eleven dollars and sixty cents at seventeen ninety-five. I, we've been waiting for a long time. Silver and gold stackers, you know, out here, and we see these turn it tur starts to turn up and then it gets smacked down again, you know. And so we're going to have to be a little bit tentative on this, but we're going to wait and see what happens. So let's move on. And take a look at cryptocurrencies today. Uh, we're looking at twenty-six fifty-seven. Cryptos are red hot right now they're really going up good looking at a Bitcoin price of 61,785 today along with Ethereum at 4358 today and so overall in the industry uh, we're at 20 we're at 2 trillion 657 billion <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying the the price is uh, that high on, on cryptocurrency as an overall industry well in excess of 2.5 trillion dollars have an idea how big that is it's starting to get so big that if it were to all go down massively it would probably be something what you would call too big to fail at this point I think we've pretty much passed that Rubicon now on the uh, on the crypto industry where it's becoming too big to fail rather rapidly I think we're actually actually in that zone at this point and this means that the central banks would have to be careful now uh, their messaging and everything about cryptocurrencies in other words once it reaches a certain point it's like looking back at uh, let's say North Korea when they were developing their uh, nuclear arsenal you know uh, there was a point a few years ago where the United States was very concerned about that, but now at this point, you notice they're not in the news so much. That's because they've been building them, <laughs> you know, and they've got to a point where they're too big to touch. <laughs> let's, let's put it that way, too big to touch uh, <laughs> in, their, in their arsenal. So it's the same thing with money, you know, when you start get past a certain point, certain size, it's called too big to fail, and that's where cryptocurrency are now, and so this would mean probably further growth of the industry as time progresses because it is a way out of the fiat currencies it's one of the few ways out of the fiat currencies uh, let's get in here and take a look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average today and what we're looking at is 35,863 we've seen a massive gains if we go over here and we take a look at the uh, five-year chart you can see this steady upward trend with the exception of that downturn we had during the beginning of the COVID epidemic. But since then, I mean, it's just been straight up to the moon and we're setting new highs, you know. I mean, the market is just pushing, pushing, pushing. Nothing goes up in a straight line. This is also why I see the economy starting to turn downwards just a little bit and why this could actually have the impact of causing some sort of a little correction. You know, maybe not a real big correction, maybe only 3 to 5% or something like that, but uh, that could very well happen in the near term. Well, let's take a look now at, uh, at crude oil. Crude oil is up today 98 cents. 
or 1.17% at 8455 and you know I told you guys back when it was $70 I said it's going to 80 back when it turned 80 and I said it's heading to 90 well it's still heading to 90 maybe it'll head from 90 to 100 but, uh, let's take a look now at the move index now, this is getting a little bit too high for comfort I'm not really comfortable about how high this move index when it crosses 80 we're gonna start to see instability in the credit markets now this is one of the indicators that the Fed keeps a very close eye on and it'll cause the Fed to move at a certain point uh, so this move index and 80 is pretty much the mark let's take a look now at bonds and rates we're seeing the bond yields climbing today uh, we're looking at the US 30 year at 1.98 and we're looking at the US 10 year at 1.58 and they're both up over well the 10 years up 2.6 basis points and the US 30 year is up 3.9 basis points so but they're still it's staying under 2 on the US 30 year and the US 10 year is under 2 it's 1.58 uh, they got a little bit of room to play with this but not too far especially on the 10 year I don't really see them letting it go above 2.25% so it's well under that right now at 1.58 take a look at the US dollar index today and we're seeing it's at 94.11 basically go basically today it's going along sideways it has been for a while now now we're gonna take a look and when we're gonna take a look at some pictures uh, of me and the Halloween and uh, I had a good time on Halloween and I was out there and uh, well, you'll see in the pictures. Bye-bye, guys, and have a really nice rest of the day.